Yes, and gals, of course. If there is any watching, I know there is probably a few watching. I know my wife is. And uh, probably a few other ones. Lisa probably is watching me. Yes, indeed. Anyways, uh, we just got loaded. Yes, indeed. I'm very, very happy. This was a very nice place to go and get loaded. And I mean, very quick too. I mean, I'm in and out of there. Like I only walked in the office there about quarter after seven their time. And by eight o'clock, I'm already got my paperwork in my hand. Just had to do my logbook and fill out my messages there. And all that good stuff. So by quarter after eight their time, I'm out of there, you know? That is fantastic news. You don't get that very often. But yeah, here we are. We're just here on the back roads here where we get out of this place and then as soon as we're out of this place we'll be on the highway 10 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and go around uh, Montreal there on the south side on that uh, 30 that they have built there there's a new highway there highway 30 that they have built and that is a toll highway but you know I think it's worth every penny <laughs> because uh going through Montreal is terrible terrible oh yeah it is very bad but anyways we're gonna get out of here out of this town make our way towards Toronto says that we should be there about 3 30 so just as the rush hour starts we should uh, we should be there so Hopefully we can beat the traffic. I mean my GPS is probably off a little bit. So I mean it's 8, so 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. I think by 2 o'clock we could be there. I think so too. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I guess once I get down the road here a little bit. It says I got about 6 hours worth of driving to do. So once we get out of Montreal or even Quebec, we'll have a better idea on how fast everything went and then we'll be able to figure out if we get there even earlier that would be awesome I get in there by two o'clock man that would be so awesome I couldn't ask for anything better than that that's a fact because uh, I'll be just before the rush hour starts and uh, perfect time to go into master steak and have us a good steak what do you guys think of that idea is that a good idea well, let's find out anyways. I appreciate you guys joining me today. Yes, indeed I do. So let's, uh, let's keep on rolling and don't go nowhere. Let's continue watching my show all the way to the end. Sometimes I have some goodies in the back, you know. Here's what's going on, guys. We are back in Ontario already for a good while. We had quite a bit of construction there for the first little stretch there on S401 going towards uh, Toronto there past we crossed the uh, border into Ontario but uh, hey that's all right yeah this bet just sent me a message here a few minutes ago asking if uh, I could go to uh, Vermont uh, I can't even pronounce it in I believe it's Arkansas and uh, I looked at it and, yeah I think I can do that that's about 1,900 kilometers from uh, from Toronto up to there, and I think I would have just perfectly enough hours to get down there and uh, for Saturday night. And then I could have Sunday off, maybe do a reset on Sunday, and it is to be delivered on Monday. So then uh, that would be perfect for me. Even if I don't do a reset or I can't get a reset in there Sunday, uh, at least on Monday I would get hours back for the United States too. So on Sunday I get hours back for Canada. Sunday I would get hours back for the United States. So that would be awesome. Oh yeah, I would like that very much so. Get some awesome miles in here before we uh, decide to go down to Dallas to the truck show before we have time off over there, you know get some extra miles in that would be fantastic 
So that means pretty much by the time we get down to Toronto, I don't know if we're going to do much after that. I think we're just going to go into Toronto, drop this trailer off. I'm not sure if they're going to have me bobtail over there or not, but we'll find out here once we once we get the new message here. Oh, we just got another message. I don't know what it is. We have to uh, read that later on once we stop somewhere. And then uh, we'll find out what they got to say. How we got to do it and all that good stuff. Maybe I'll drive out of Toronto and get up to the area where I pick up tomorrow. And then that way I'm there ready to go in the morning. And we can just pick up the load and go, you know. So that would be fantastic. So we'll see what happens, but either way, after midnight on Sunday till Monday, I get hours back for the United States too, so I can just keep it rolling if I want to. But I would really like to do a reset, that way I'm not so limited on hours. But yeah, whatever they give me, I told them send me wherever. I don't really care. I just want to get some miles and that's all. So yeah, well, it looks like we got a rest area coming up here in a little while, so. We might pull in there, we might not. I'm trying to get to Toronto ASAP before the bad rush hour starts up there, so I don't really want to waste a lot of time out here on the road before we get there, so. Anyways, we'll keep you guys up to date on what's going to be happening. Uh, be sure to check out my website on a regular basis because we update that constantly on where we're going and all that good stuff all right guys as you heard the gps or maybe you didn't maybe i cut it out but uh yeah we are uh, now coming into the toronto area we're not exactly in toronto yet but we are on the outskirts of toronto now yes indeed we're making good times today it's about quarter after two right now I thought we would be here by now and I think we probably would have but we had quite a bit of construction there earlier and there was a little bit of a backup over there so we got delayed there a little bit but we only have 50 more kilometers to go and I will be at our terminal already in Toronto so yeah right now traffic is still moving very good don't have no uh, no complaints whatsoever as you can see we got a very big highway up here this is the express lane there to the right is the service lane where you get off to go to an exit or stuff like that and yeah so this is very very smoothly riding along here right now just cruising right along and that's the way I like to see it. There was a little bit of a back up there on the other way on the eastbound side to the left on going towards to Quebec Highway but uh, expressway. yeah right now as of right now it's very little traffic on here that's good that means I will still I think manage to squeeze her into Toronto there without too much of a hassle that's what my plan was anyways and that's what I'm thinking that's going to happen too so I'm very very happy about that so we did get our reload offer already and uh, we're going to be picking that load up tomorrow it's going to be a preloaded trailer at the customer yeah we'll pick her up tomorrow morning and then uh, make our way down to Arkansas that's right that'd be a nice little trip down there In two day drive keep to the left on Why am I even Highway 401 Expressway. I might even uh, go down to that town tonight and uh, that way I'm ready there for first thing in the morning. So I can pick that load up right away in the morning and put the hammer down going towards Arkansas. That would be nice. Get some good miles in tomorrow and then uh, hopefully I'll be close enough there for Saturday so I can take me a reset like I said earlier. but. But yeah, that's my plan as of right now. So once I stop here in Toronto, I'll go to Master Steak and probably update my website and render a few videos. I gotta render them and make sure they're uploaded before I enter to back into the US. So that way they are up there for you guys to watch. 
Otherwise, you won't have nothing to watch. <laughs> that would be not too good. But hopefully, we can find us a pilot there somewhere around the area that we stop at and where we do our reset so that way we can upload our videos anyways at least you guys can watch them if you choose to anyways <laughs> yeah that's right but look at the big highway that we got up here and we got three lanes here looks like we got four lanes there on the service lane right now all two of them are i guess are exiting back onto here but yeah there are some spots where we got like 14 lanes going uh in each direction I counted at one time there was one section there's 14 lanes I couldn't believe that that's huge man but anyways we'll continue on cruising along here and we'll go visit master steak again yes indeed we will already guys we have finally made it on to the Dixie Road yeah here's master steak right here to the right guys look at that we're going right by it yeah we gotta go down to our terminal and uh, go drop this loaded trailer there and then pick up an empty trailer. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that right away or if I might do that later, but I might try and get one right away, but we'll see. But anyways, we're going right to our terminal right now and then uh, drop this one and all that good stuff and go bring the dispatcher the paperwork and all that fun stuff. Yes, indeed. We are now officially in Toronto. We did uh, eventually get a little bit of a back up there on that uh, 401 there, but wasn't too bad. You know what we got going on here now. Must be a bus or something there stopping. That wouldn't surprise me. But whatever. I'm going to continue on there. And go do do our things and then uh, yeah that's what it was a bus stopped here somebody got off yep anyways we'll go do our things and then uh, we'll talk with you guys a little bit later I guess alrighty guys we've been done here for a good while here in Mississauga Ontario yes indeed yeah we dropped our uh, loaded trailer they didn't have an empty there so we just went back to the husky here and uh, of course I went to master steak but I didn't show you that because I figured you know what I've shown you a bunch of times already so I figured ah, I'll just not show you anything today on that part but hey we do have us that reload as we mentioned earlier so we're going to try and get an empty trailer tomorrow morning and then go over there and do our trailer switch and then uh, we'll head south I'm assuming that we're going to have to try and take a reset I Think that's what we're going to end up doing but we'll see exactly how it's going to do or how we're going to do it or whatever but uh yeah anyways we're done for today so i hope you enjoyed today's vlog we'll catch you right here tomorrow morning on trucker rudy signing out <laughs>